What are the biggest NFT sales from Blue Chip Collections that you should know about? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins and welcome to the NFT Brief. So in this video, I'm going to do a deep dive into some Blue Chip NFT collections. And no, they're not all on Ethereum. And I'm going to show you some big eye-watering sales that took place during and after the NFT bull run. Hope you enjoy the content in this video. If you do, hit thumbs up and to get more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, please remember, NFTs are incredibly risky. I'm not a financial advisor. As you're about to see, most NFTs will go to zero or lose value. This content is meant for informational purposes only, so please do your own research. Now let's dive in. The CryptoPunks are undoubtedly one of the most iconic NFT collections out there. 10,000 NFTs exist in this picture for profile collection, and they were pretty much free to mint a couple of years ago. At the time of recording this video, you'll need to pay somewhere between seventy-five dollars and $80,000 in each to pick up a CryptoPunk, and that's even after the NFT bear market of 2022. So they're pixelated NFTs that exist entirely on the Ethereum blockchain. This is one of the most rare CryptoPunks that you can find. It's CryptoPunk 5822. It's an alien punk. Only nine of these exist in the entirety of the CryptoPunks collection. This particular CryptoPunk sold for a whopping $23.7 million in February of 2022. Now, if you're interested in learning more about pixel art NFTs, including the CryptoPunks, I have another video on the channel, which I suggest you check out. Speaking of pixel art or picture for profile NFTs, enter Cryptodes by Gremlin. So these were created in September of 2021. There are 6,900 plus NFTs in this collection, and they're a Creative Commons zero or no rights reserved NFTs meaning they're entirely owned by the community. You can do anything that you want with your NFT, including using it for commercial use. If you're interested in learning more about what exactly cryptos are and the community behind them, I profile them on a different video on this channel, so go check that out. But in terms of blue chip sales from cryptos, I found this one here, which is cryptos number 37. It's known as Frank's henchman number one. It's one of the rarest members of this swamp dwelling collection. And according to rarities tools, it has a score of 3251. What does that mean in terms of price? This particular crypto sold for 74.6 ETH approximately a year ago during the tail end of the crypto bull run. That equated to $300,000. Now, of course, Ethereum has dropped significantly in price then, as has the floor price for cryptos. But if you're looking for an example of a blue chip, picture for a profile or pixel art NFT, and you can't go further than Cryptodes number 37. So I couldn't record a video about sales of rare blue chip NFTs without talking about Bored Ape Yacht Club. Bored Ape Yacht Club is what you hear about most when you see people tweeting about sales on NFTs on Twitter or getting their wallets hacked and losing everything in their portfolio. Please use a hardware wallet. There are also the NFTs that captured the attention of mainstream media during the crypto and NFT bull run. Say hello to Bored Ape Yacht Club 8817. This golden ape is one of the rarest apes in the Bored Ape Yacht Club 10,000 piece collection. It's one of the rarest apes that you can get in the apes metaverse. This particular ape sold for a whopping 2,087 each during the tail end of the crypto bull run in 2021. That translates to $3.4 million. And since then, the holder has held onto it for uh, several months. So if you want to follow Blue Chip Ape, this will be the one to keep an eye on. The Clone X NFT collection is a collaboration between the legendary contemporary artist Takashi Murakami, an NFT project known as RT FKT, and also Nike, which bought that project at the end of 2021 or early 2022. Now, one of the rarest Clone X NFTs within this collection is Clone X number 4951. It's one of the rarest within the 20,000 piece collection. That's thanks to its traits such as its sword, sheet, jacket and skull helmet, which you can see on screen. This particular Clone X NFT uh, sold just after the collection launched approximately a year ago in December 2021. It sold for 88.88 ETH, which equates to just over $360,000 based on the price of Ethereum at that time. And since then, the uh, buyer, Whale Shark Vault, has not moved this particular Clone X NFT. Now, of course, if we look at Clone X as a whole, the project has dropped uh, quite a bit in floor price, like many NFTs. But Clone X still does continue uh, to be an NFT collection that's worth keeping an eye on if you want to understand what's happening with some potential future blue chips. And of course, that it has Nike's backing means it could potentially be a project that's well-funded and here for some time. 
Pudgy Penguins is another popular picture for profile NFT project. There are 8,888 NFTs in this collection. On first glance, they don't look too different from other picture for profile NFTs that use cute pictures or cartoonist pictures of animals. But the collection itself has actually done quite well, even though we're in the NFT bear market with a floor price of 4.49 ETH. That's perhaps in thanks due to the vibrant and active and engaged community, and also to the roadmap that the Pudgy Penguins team are executing on, which includes experiences, events, IP licensing, and so on. But anyway, you're here to learn about uh, the most expensive NFT sales from Blue Chip Collections. Well, say hello to Pudgy Penguin 6873. This is one of the rarest penguins within the collection. Even though it looks like quite a simplistic image, this particular pudgy penguin sold in August of 2022 for $640,000. That worked out to 400 eat. And of course, that wasn't the first big sale for this pudgy penguin. A year ago in December of 2021, it sold for 225 wrapped eat. So definitely, Pudgy Penguin is a picture for profile project to keep an eye on if you're tired of learning about Bored Ape Yacht Club. If you've been following this channel for some time, or if you're new to the channel, then you'll probably understand that I'm pretty bullish on ENS domains. That's because they have a low barrier of entry for people new to the NFT space, and they have use cases. You can use them to manage your NFTs, your crypto, and your Web 3.0 identity. I have other videos where I go into detail on that. That said, this is one of the most expensive Ethereum name service or ENS domain sales that took place during 2022. Say hello to porno.eat. So this particular domain sold in July 2022 when the Ethereum name service or ENS domains was going through a bull run all of its own for 184 ETH. That equated to just over $300,000. It's currently not listed for sale, but there are other examples of memorable domains like sex.eat or money.eat, which also sold for an eye-watering amount too. You can find any of these on ens.division and you can also find them on OpenSea. If you're going to do that, I'd encourage you to look at the Blue Chip Collections, in particular the 10K Club and the 99 Club. Those are the Blue Chip Collections for Ethereum name service domains, and that's where a lot of the big sales have taken place, apart from memorable domains like porno.eat. Azuki is another popular NFT collection regarded as a blue chip. Some controversy around the founders. Do some Googling and you can figure out all about that. But we're here to talk about blue chip sales from this 10,000 piece collection. So basically, if you buy an Azuki, you get access to the Azuki metaverse, which is known as the Garden. And you can also get an anime style avatar that you can use for your identity and your picture for profile. Now, these were free to mint, but they sold out within 24 hours. And within a month, which was last year during the NFT bull run, trading volume exceeded a whopping $300 million. If you're interested in the Izuki project, the rarest type of NFTs from this collection are the Spirit NFTs. 97 of these exist. And you can see here that Izuki 9143 sold for 150 ETH, as did Izuki Spirit 5889. Some of the other Izuki Spirit NFTs also sold in excess of 100 ETH, which is a six or a low six figure sale depending on the price of Ethereum. So again, even though we're in an NFT bear market, Izuki has proven that some NFT collections really do have the support of their community and of NFT collectors. Chromie Squiggle is one of my favorite generative art NFTs. It was also the first project to launch on Artblocks. Chromie Squiggle was created by the Artblocks founder, Eric Cauldron, AKA Snowfro. I have another video on the channel where I do a deep dive into Chromie Squiggle. So check that out if you want to learn more. Now, one of the rarest Chromie Squiggles is this one here, Chromie Squiggle 7583. So this particular Squiggle sold in September, 2021 for an insane 923 ETH. That's worth 2.5 million. And it's one of the rarest and most perfect Squiggles that you can find. And its traits are shared by 0.3% of the Squiggle collection. Other squiggles these days tend to range between ten and fifteen thousand dollars. Not bad considering squiggles were pretty much free to mint after the cost of gas. Did you know not all blue chip NFT sales are Ethereum NFTs? Say hello to the Ape Society, which is one of the big success stories of 2022. At least if you're interested in Cardano NFTs. So these are hand-drawn, beautiful-looking apes, which are unlike other NFTs you can find, or cartoonish pictures of cute animals. I do have a video where I go into detail about what the Ape Society is and go behind the scenes of their DAO. Anyway, the Ape ecosystem is a vibrant and thriving community. There are 7,000 apes within uh, the Ape Society project and they have clever names and classes like nobles and so on. 
One of the biggest sales is this one here, Kinsey de Medici. He's the rarest of all the apes in the ape society. So according to OpenCNFT, which is an analytics tool for Cardano NFTs, Kinsey de Medici sold for 100,000 Cardano in March of 2022. So that would have equated for a little under $90,000. Finally, say hello to cool cats. So there are 9,999 animated cats on the Ethereum blockchain that comprise this collection. It holds place number 11 for on OpenSea for the most overall trading volume, with over 115,000 ETH traded since it launched in 2021. And of course, those figures will have changed by the time you watch this video. Now, cool cat 1490 may have seen better times, what with its missing ear, exposed brain, torn white shirt, and so on. That said, this zombified feline was traded on OpenSea for a whopping 320 ETH back in October of 2021. Now, of course, that would have equated to a little over $1.12 million back then when Ethereum was trading over $3,000 at better times. But suffice to say, Cool Cats is one of the projects that does continue to or continue to attract interest from NFT collectors and the floor price for the Cool Cats collection uh, as a whole has been relatively consistent or solid over the past few months. Those are just 10 rare NFT sales from blue chip collections. I hope you enjoyed this roundup. Which ones did I miss? Let me know in the comments section below. If you'd like to get more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the NFT Brief.